Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video and I've got BYOB back in the house as well, well as the Society of Royals, which uh, BYOB is Rochelle and Dwight and Society of Royals is Candace Shields. So they are here because we're filming a podcast today. The subject matter of that podcast is based around depression and suicide. Uh, so we just reacted to Ren. Hi, Ren. Uh, for those of you who've been coming to my channel for a while, you already know that Dwight and Rochelle had seen that one previously, but we wanted uh, Candace to see it because I wanted her to see that one before seeing the rest of the Ren uh, videos. So this is actually all three of them. It's going to be their first time seeing suicide. So you guys ready to get into this? Yes. 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 This Let's is a cool it. video, too, because it's kind of like an animation. Okay. okay. Oh, cool. All right. Y'all ready? Let's go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Through the cracks of the night sky A light goes out on the other side Suicide, suicide, suicide Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I mm. Treading on the tracks in the night time It never really felt like the right time Suicide, suicide, suicide I'm so fucking lonely beneath this Narcissistic, can't keep a secret Miss He likes the pig. that pig Bro, he the likes that pig. He likes that pig. That pig mask. Like, so, wait. are y'all familiar with a rapper by the name of Black Pegasus? Uh uh. -uh. Uh -uh. He's like a '90s rapper, but he does reaction videos now, and he also still creates music, and he has a podcast. He actually, we, him, and I do a very similar format in how we're doing these Ren reactions. Uh -huh. um, he actually got to interview Ren. Oh. And I haven't watched the interview yet um, because I don't want it to uh, influence any of my views on the videos since I'm still working through his library, but I think I'm going to just have to eventually break down and watch it. But anyway, so from the comments that people leave, they said that Ren addressed the pig in that interview with uh, Black Pegasus. I, I'm interested. So there's a, he said he wants to leave it open for interpretation of whatever you want the pig to mean. Other people have interpreted it as it's the way that Ren views the medical industry and, and doctors because of the, you know, the not prescribing them correctly and what he has to go through. Um, mm. But that's not necessarily Rin's words. That's what people think that it is interpreted as. But right. the yeah, reason you open. see, because y'all y'all saw the rap song where the pig mask was there, yeah. right? So the pig is not in every one of his videos, but it's it does come up in several of them. And then Candace, this is only your second one, but yeah. so uh, that's kind of like the the pig is is maybe the the doctors or the medical industries hiding behind the mask. I don't really know. Uh, gotcha. But you make that it what make you take sense. it, make what you want to of it. You know, right. like his ever present demon, kind of. Yeah. Got it. Okay. This is this animation is pretty cool though, right? It I'm, is, I'm yeah. like wondering, was it did it did AI do this? Probably so, because <laughs> there's there, 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 AI craze, man. It's like wow. It's a mix, probably, because because uh, I've watched it. I, I I I'm obsessed with all the AI stuff. So yeah. there, a lot of this was filmed, and then they probably submitted clips like the ones that are actually his face was submitted. But then they have these AI formulas that you can kind of tell it to do certain things. Right. And then the cities, they probably gave. Uh, commands like, hey, I want the city to do this. I want it to, to twirl. And you kind of like, you type out a description. I don't know 100% for sure that this is how this was done, but it very much looks like that's how it was done. That's what I was telling gotcha. you. When it first came, I'm like, this AI. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it, it is. It is pretty cool. Okay, let's get it. So fucking lonely beneath this Narcissistic, can't keep a secret Miscount sheep, I can't sleep, a misfit Some say trouble, but some say sadistic Bruises my brother, one time or the other My skin felt counterfeit, silicone rubber Bruises my sister, skin pop the blister Dig deep, resist the feeling when it hits ya Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Falling through the cracks of the night sky A light goes out on the other side Suicide, suicide, suicide Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Treading on the tracks in the night time It never really felt like the right time Suicide, suicide, suicide hmm. So fucking washed up and seasick Masochistic kid with a split lip Six feet deep, I can't eat, I'm nervous Won't stay down cause my body purges Useless my mother, can't keep in my sub Is that a gun? That's 
uh, showing in the front of his head like with the graphics and stuff oh i don't know maybe it's like some sort of camera or maybe it's like a uh you know like the Neuralink thing that elon's working on where it can go in your brain and help you like do y'all know much about Neuralink? was it the stuff they had on in the uh short we just watched no no so the thing that elon's working on it's like a chip and what it's doing right now is like say people who are paralyzed from the waist down or whatever Ooh. they can put a chip in to help uh connected connect and so they can walk again that muscle Synapsis. memory yeah but, but there's that concerns nerd. that like what links can that neural link go because like things of things like the movie the matrix where they can just program stuff into you uh-huh. yeah uh it's it could lead to things like that right so maybe this is supposed to be some sort of like futuristic like link to half human half robotic i don't really know man okay. is trying to combine carbon and silicon yeah, and then you look how his face looks all warped right here, too. I could be completely wrong. It might not be anything like that, but maybe it's some sort of uh, assisted uh, device with his to, to get your brain right. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Build well, your own brain. I do <laughs> want to talk about the face warping, because if you've watched from the beginning of the video how the faces keep changing, right. mm-hmm. and I could be completely wrong, but what I get from it is it just depicts the many faces of us, right? The yeah. faces, the masks that we wear. Yep. Got you. Day day, especially when you're... Con- Considering the topic is suicide. You think about how people, we wear the mask because it's, I feel this way, but I don't want everybody to know. Or because I'm, you know, physically one way, people think this. So this is all that they see of me. It, yep. You don't know the internal struggle. So we wear so many different faces, so many different masks throughout our day. Yeah. So. That's and biblical. Did you, did you see the ones too that it transitioned? It was kind of like a de- demonic face. Yeah. And there was, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was on point to when he was uh, saying that part of the lyric as well. So yeah. I don't know the correct scripture, but you know, it's in the Bible. It says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Yes. Right? And those mansions, we have uh, 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 the ability to decide what mansion to take hold of, yeah. what mental state to be in, what yep. mood to feel at a certain time. We can make that decision. It's just a lot of us don't have the control on how uh, to make that decision. On how to do it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Skin so pale cause my cheeks leak color Truth is my father, you choose your karma Draw for the sword, then drive through the armor Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Falling through the cracks like of the, the night sky I like ghosts out on the other side Suicide, suicide, suicide Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Treading on the tracks in the night time It never really felt like the right time Suicide, suicide, suicide he says it never feels like the right time yeah which i take from that like you know the right time it's like he's cons- like if you're considering suicide but it's not the right time to do it i don't know so and then y'all seminar is gonna be called don't do it yeah having known people who have contemplated and I actually know people who have survived suicide and it is a struggle because you get to that point of sometimes it's hopelessness sometimes it's not Mm -hmm. sometimes it's you know I think that the world around me and I don't mean like the physical world I mean my world right the people around me the the circumstances around me will be better without me if I remove myself from the equation. So not everybody who attempts suicide has gotten to a point of hopelessness. They just feel like they will make the equation better if if they they remove themselves themselves from the equation, right? So it could be because they feel like a burden. It could be a lot of different things, and we'll talk about that later. But when you think about people who have contemplated or even attempted suicide, that's always the topic. Like... I've thought about this many times. I don't know any person who has attempted or actually contemplated that has on the first time said, you know what, I'm just gonna take myself out and boom. It's always a thought process and it's repeated thought process. Mm. And it's like, I've thought about this many times and it just didn't seem like the right time. And then finally it's like at some point they're just like, it's never gonna be the right time. I just have to do it, Yeah, that makes sense, so. Nice. Thank you for drawing that out, Candice. And then real quick to follow up on what you were talking about, Rochelle, as soon as we hit pause, you saw many different things were formulating over his face. Uh huh. So he said uh, the armor or the shield or something like that. So maybe it's just all kinds of things. Maybe it's like cyber future type deal. Maybe it's not specific about the lyrics. It was just like something that's uh, 
formulating on his head. I don't know. So who knows what it is? It could be camera, glasses, lenses, something. But it could be the Let different Let us know emotions. in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What do you think? <laughs> It's hard to take off from the ground when your wings are cut Your stomach burns when you're drinking from an empty cup You know the entire ocean came from my tear ducts I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double ducks <laughs> I guess there's some that's born lucky, there's some that's not I tried to cut away my bitterness, hatchet job I locked my youth inside a trunk, inside a pickup truck Then dumped the whole thing over that same bridge the night you jumped I think about that sometimes, vividly What it felt like to look down and see tranquility One sudden movement in a world of possibility Only one movement to expose our fragility I fucking miss you, and I miss myself I miss thinking we were indestructible as well I miss chilling by the pier cave and kicking back with Callum Hugo Saying you're Justin Stevie and the fucking lads I miss missing that, I numb myself to close the gap I never even call them up, the distance is my plastic ass The truth is that the day you jumped, my childhood jumped too But I still can't find that angle, all I find is missing you Man, I miss you we're doing my right. This is awesome. Because wow. it's like, you're reading the words, right? But yeah. if you're reading the words too much, you miss his facial expressions that go along with the words. Because he has aggression within his eyebrows, within his muscles, within his face, you know, mm -hmm. but with, that match the, each word. Like, when he says missing you, his eyes like kind of get scrunched up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he's showing that emotion at the same time. So, hey, man, shout out to Rick. You know, going back to that, I was thinking the exact same thing because even we've been talking about how the faces have changed throughout the entire video. And he talks about, I miss thinking that we were indestructible. And, you know, we think about the robotic aspect of some of the visions that we were seeing. And mm -hmm. it goes back to that internal emotion of feeling indestructible because when you think about being indestructible, you think about machines, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, they take a hit and they keep going. You just fix them and they keep going. Not like us as humans. You know, some hits we take, you can't come back from that. Yep. You know, but yep. machine-wise, you can. So it just kind of ties everything That's together. That's a very interesting take on that for sure. Yeah, so you got to pay attention to this one. It's like, I'm looking at the words. I'm looking at his face. Look at the words. Look at his, <laughs> look at his face. face. Yeah. Can't find the angle. All I find is missing you. My, I miss you. With all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker. I'm right on time. I picture pulling you back over the edge, and then we're crying and holding you, my brother, and telling you that it's fine. Not the way that it worked, cause I was late like a jerk. There's not a day where I could find a way to break from the hurt. Your body. Okay, so I just have to take a moment to address yeah. that this part of this song is addressing how people who are left from suicide. Yeah. Um, struggle you know when we talk about suicide we always talk always talk about the person who completed it as mm -hmm. the victim but oftentimes it is the family members who are left behind the friends who are left behind because they're left behind with questions that will never be answered, answered. they're left behind with guilt because yep. everybody thinks i could have i could have done something you could have saved in actuality them. you could not have but that is our internal thought as humans it's our first thought is what if i what if i would have been there five minutes earlier you know what if i would have said something what if i would have answered the phone what if i would have done this then he would still be here or she would still be here and that's not the way that works 99.9% .9 of the time. So um, I just like that he's addressing this. If you're paying attention, you catch the different aspects because he goes in from being one point of view to the other. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Can't live in hindsight, you know? Like, be present, you be right to. now. Yeah. And don't ever blame yourself, you know, because if somebody ultimately made that choice, they contemplated every other option, how it might affect other people, it doesn't mean that you specifically did something wrong or could have potentially prevented it because there's not you, you they were going to do what they're going to do no matter what and yeah. obviously you don't want that to be the end result but you can't blame yourself for it either mm. yeah you can't because i was late like a jerk there's not a day where i could find a way to break from the hurt your body missing so we never got to wave to the hearse i hope you're listening i love you man i miss you absurd Fuck. do it don't do it i have to speak again to his transparency like i'm just digging that his ability to be transparent his willingness to be emotional on a song because it's it's real it takes know? a lot to get there within yourself yeah it takes a lot it's like that's a hard thing to do 
Yeah. Especially when you're going through depression, when you're going through the stress, when you're going through the anxiety and the fear and all the illusions that's in your mind, beating yourself up, not loving yourself. When somebody asks you, do you love yourself? You got to think about it. Hey. Yep. Yeah. The other thing, um, you know, not only sharing his message, like you mentioned, but that he can do it so well. Yeah. Both, you know, uh, emotionally, but also lyrically. And he paints the picture so perfectly and his the, the wording he uses. Um, y- you really feel like you're living through it with him or you're seeing it through his eyes firsthand versus it just being something on a screen. Then you know he that you sure, are not alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he for sure gets his message across depending on how how it is that you take it. Like if you listen to the lyrics, like then he's getting his message across that way. If you're paying attention to like the graphics and stuff the like visuals. that. The visuals. The visuals, then he's getting his message across that way. But I love how he targets different aspects of getting all the different message. senses every uh-huh. sense Agreed. yeah and, and uh yeah. and connects with the, the people on uh, through the screen or through the headphones or whatever yeah yeah good job friend very good so the one we're gonna do next is called for joe and that's for his friend that uh, unfortunately did take his own life uh i want to ask you guys real quick um if if any of y'all have firsthand experienced the loss of somebody uh via suicide in high school, uh, not like a close friend, but I knew of the person, you know, like by passing through yeah, the hallway, kind of you know, like, I know, type. I know, dude, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you know, word of mouth gets to you, you know, he killed himself today, or he hung himself, or he shot himself today, or, you know, last night. And then, you know, in that, that, that's what I have. That's the experience that I have. Yeah. Like, not like a close, immediate family member. Yeah. You know, not, nothing like that. Yeah, same for me. Like, I've known people, like, friends of friends or something like that who um, has had someone take their own life. But, like, physically, like, no, like, talk to every day on a day, everyday basis. No, I do not know of anyone. But, dang, it, it, it's just, it it touches me in a different way because it's like you have so much more life to live and yet you're taking yeah. what you yeah. think that one problem is that you're going with that you're that that you feel like it's only you that's going through it but in reality it's not and i i just have so much sympathy for the loved ones out there who have lost someone due to suicide yeah yeah it's it's, it's, it's a tough a, subject making a permanent solution to a temporary problem feel you know, think about it that way <laughs> yeah. yeah i i feel personally i'm like like them i don't have anyone in my like close-knit circle or family who has completed it. I know lots of people that I am close to and people that are close to them. I do have one of my very, very close friends. She's like a sister to me. She is one of the people that I spoke about earlier who um, attempted suicide twice. Yeah. And she wrote a book about one of her experiences because on September 10th, 2001, she attempted to take her life and woke up to September 11th, right? Oh, wow. wow. And the guilt that that led her, being a person of faith and just feeling like like she wasn't hopeless. She just felt like she did not fit into this world. Like there was no place for her to fit into this world. And so she just wanted to be with God, even though she knows that because of her faith, that's backwards, right? Mm-hmm. Because if uh, in faith that's not what you're taught but that that was her situation and so waking up to September 11th seeing across the news where so many people lost their lives who wanted to be here who just went to work you know on another day expecting to be able to go home to their families later and did not and here she was in the hospital because she had attempted to remove herself from this world. She felt an extreme amount of guilt and it it took her through a whirlwind of emotions. But not only that, the her story and her testimony on the other side yeah. um, is a beautiful one. So yeah. That's that's amazing. Unfortunately I've I've known probably close to ten people that have taken their own lives. I prevented a friend from taking his own life, literally pried the gun out of his hand. Wow. Wow. Um it, it's that's why I was saying earlier, you can't really try to blame yourself of what you could have possibly done because the people that, and it wasn't family members, it was friends, but the people who did take their own lives, I mean, I was in communication with those people regularly. Um, some of them, it was more apparent that they were dealing with depression, but you never really think they're dealing with depression to those lengths. Um, other of them, it was complete su- surprise, you know, like I had a friend that, um, attempted to shoot his wife and then shot himself and fortunately she lived through it um 
and they had two kids, you know, so it's just like despair and guilt. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's just it's like, why, you know, like, but you never know until you're in that person's shoes and yeah. in, in the level of depression they're dealing with. And, you know, and, and there's other things that you contribute to, like PTSD, yeah. you sure. know? Yeah. Um, but uh, and their upbringing. Yeah. 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 My, my main thing to people is like, if you're feeling like you're at your, your, your end and that's something you're considering, I, I strongly encourage you to talk to a close family member, friend, use the local help numbers. Even if it's a stranger, you never know that it, it may connect you with the right person that's going to give you that outlet you need to, to discuss it and, and work through other options. Cause there's always going to be another option that doesn't have to be the option. So, so yeah. Um, you guys ready to check out the next one? Yes. Let's, do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Cool. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, I know this is a strange one to ask for a thumbs up, but if you appreciate all the commentary that they've given as well as myself, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the, uh, my channel. And immediately following this one will be uh, for Joe will be dropping. We might do one or two more. I don't know yet because we also need to get to doing their podcast. So um, we'll see you guys in the next video later. Peace. Peace.